India took a 1-0 lead in the ongoing two-test series against Bangladesh with a 280-run victory in the first game in Chennai. Local boy Ravichandran Ashwin was the standout performer with a century and a five-wicket haul at the MH Chidambaram Stadium. Ashwin has been a great servant of Indian cricket with the ball in test cricket. However, his batting achievements also need to be extolled. Having started to play international cricket primarily as a bowler with his off-spin, Ashwin, over the years, has contributed with the bat when India needed the most. In Chennai too, when the team was in trouble, Ashwin bailed the side out with his sixth test century to equal the legendary MS Dhoni, who too has the same number of test tons in 90 games. After starring with the bat, the 38-year-old Ashwin weaved his magic with the ball with six wickets in the second innings. It was for the fourth time that he had this unique feat of scoring a century and taking a five-wicket haul in the same test. To understand Ashwin the batter, we need to go back in time. How does he manage to score runs and also pick a bag full of wickets? For Ashwin, batting comes naturally. As a youngster taking up cricket, he started as an opening batsman and later switched to become an off-spinner. The early days of taking up cricket to be a batter have certainly helped him. In Ashwin's words, bowling and batting are very separate sports in the same game. One is done consciously, the other one is done subconsciously. So for me, to compartmentalize both has taken its own due. I make a living by bowling, so bowling comes first. Batting is something that comes naturally, but I have focused my thoughts on batting over the last few years. Ashwin, as an all-rounder, does not get much credit, which is unfair. He is one of the only three cricketers with more than 3,000 runs and 500-plus wickets in tests. The other two, Shane Vaughan, did not have a single 100 with a bat, while Stuart Broad had one three-digit score. So Ashwin, with his six centuries, certainly is a better player with a bat in his three-man elite club. And for a country that has been searching for a genuine fast bowling all-rounder since Kapil Dev, head coach Gautam Gambhir rightly said it was time to celebrate spin bowling all-rounders like Ashwin. Gambhir said, We have been talking about it since Kapil Dev's days that we don't have a fast bowling all-rounder. If we don't have one, we don't have one. But look at the spin bowling all-rounders we have. People like Ravindra Jadeja, R. Ashwin, Aksar Patel, Washington Sundar. We have got quality all around us. When we keep talking about saying fast bowling all-rounders, let's not get obsessed with that. Tell me how many international sides have spinning all-rounders of the quality that we have. Let's talk about quality, which is important. We are very fortunate in that. Ashwin, who holds an engineering degree, is a thinking cricketer. With an ability to bamboozle the batter with his variations, he has also got the ability to bat according to the situation. Being a fine bowler has certainly helped his batting too. With nine more tests to go in the current season, Ashwin will be hoping to carry on his all-round form to help India to qualify for the World Test Championship final and also win the title at Lords next year.